Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss with you about the partial derivatives in case of implicit function. For that, I take first case when we have a function of x and y equals to 0, which is implicit function, means we cannot write y as a function of x. Here y is function of x, y is dependent and z is independent, but the relation between them is implicit means we cannot write y is equals to function of x so that we can find out dy by dx easily. In that case, we want to find out dy by dx. So the partial derivative can be used. We can use a chain rule where if the function of two variable equals to 0 and you want to find out what is a total derivative or what is derivative of f with respect to x. For that, first we will apply a chain of partial differentiation of f with respect to x into dx by dx plus partial derivative of f with respect to y into dy by dx equals to 0. Now dx by dx is 1 so this term is partial differentiation of f with respect to x and plus partial differentiation of with respect to y with dy by dx. So to find derivative with respect to x we can transfer this term here with minus sign and divide by del f by del y and you get this result. So we can directly apply this formula to find out dy by dx whenever we have an implicit relation of x and y given to us and we want to find out what is the change in y with respect to x. Let's take one example. With the help of example we want to find out that how to calculate. So here example is where I take an implicit relation x square plus y square is equals to y times cos of x. So first uh, this relation is where I cannot explain y is equals to and we want to find out find dy by dx. So in this case uh, first uh, we should write down in the, the standard form so that we can get the answer correctly. So transfer this y cos x on the right side we get x square plus y square minus y times cos of x equals to 0. If even you can write down equals to constant, it hardly matters because constant derivative is 0. But all the variables should be on the one side. That should be taken care before finding dy by dx. Now for dy by dx, we will first find out what is f of x. f of x is equals to 2x. Since y square is constant, so it is 0. Here minus y and derivative of cos x is minus sin x so minus minus become plus and I get a sin x over here. Similarly let us calculate what is f y y f of y equals 2 this is again differentiation with respect to y so it is 2y x square being so constant will be 0 and then you are having y only so minus with y1 and cos of x is constant. Now we can calculate what is dy by dx? dy by dx is equals to minus partial differentiation with respect to x upon partial differentiation with respect to y. And this answer comes out to be minus times, this is a partial differentiation with respect to x. So it comes 2x plus y sine of x in the numerator and in the denominator we will get 2y minus cos of x. Now here the symbol of dy but we, we can use fx fy or you can also write down that equals to minus of partial differentiation of f with respect to x upon partial differentiation of f with respect to y. You can use any notation for the partial derivative. Let's take one more example. Here x to the power y plus y to the power x is equals to alpha and we want to find out what is dy by dx. If you are having f of x y equals to means if the function is like that f of f of x comma y equals to constant then also the same formula can be applicable because constant derivative comes out to be 0. Now before finding the partial derivative I would like to write down formula one formula important that since it is in the power form x and y, x is in the base, y is in the power, y is in the base, x is in the power. So these two formula are very useful to write down the answer correctly. When you are having t to the power n, 
derivative of this function is n times t to the power n minus 1 and when we are having a formula a to the power t and you want to find what is the derivative for that then a to the power t log of a. So these two formula are going to be used over here in the calculation of partial derivative. So first let us find out what is f of x. f of x equals 2. Now see x is variable y is constant. We use this formula t to the power n it means n is constant here y is constant and x is variable like x to the power n. So n is y x to the power n minus 1 means y minus 1 plus now y is constant second term and x is variable a to the power t formula. So here y is constant means y is like a, a and here variable a to the power x. So what is a to the power x? So we have a y to the power x because constant to the power x log of constant and log of constant means log of y. Similarly, we can calculate what is f of y equals to f of y is equals to here x is constant and y is variable this formula x is constant y is variable so x to the power vary a constant to the power y log of constant log x plus now y to the power x means y to the power n so here x is n number constant you can say and x minus 1 so this value we have calculated now we are in a position to find out what is dy by dx. dy by dx formula is minus partial differentiation of x with divided by partial differentiation of y. So here the numerator is minus times y x to the power y minus 1 plus y to the power x log of y divided by x to the power y log of x plus x y to the power x minus 1. So we got this answer dy by dx directly using the formula minus f of x upon f of y. Now let's take, let's go ahead with where we are having more independent variable. Now see this case, in this case what we are having, we are having function of x y z equals to 0 and z is dependent dependent upon x and y now x is dependent variable and x and y are independent variable so how we will calculate the rate of change of y with respect to x because if x and y are independent one is to be taken constant so when we will find out what is derivative of z with respect to x we keep y constant and what is derivative of z with respect to y we keep x constant and the same rule if we apply the chain rule we will get minus f of x upon f of z and for with respect to y we get minus f of y upon f of z now i want to explain one of them and the same can be applicable to the other means how we get that when you say the function of three variable it is implicit relation means we cannot write z as a function of x and y so x y z equals to 0 this function now whenever we are finding rate of change of uh, y with respect to x since they are independent it is 0 so applying the chain rule partial differentiation first with respect to x dx by dx plus this term when we do for y is comes out to be 0 and partial differentiation of f with respect to z into del z by del x equals to 0 because z dependent so we will get that del z by del x and after simplification you get this expression and to find out this term you want to find out so you transfer here on this side you will transfer this on this side it become minus and divide you get the first formula similarly we can apply so basically we will remember the formula this i have just discussed to give you an explanation that how we get this formula it is all using the chain rule of partial derivative now let's take one example to find out the answer here i have taken one relation sine of xy plus sine of yz plus sine of xz equals to zero and we want to find out what is del z by del x where y is constant and what is del z by del y when x is constant so means when when we are asking this question or when we are asking this to find these two terms it means z is dependent and x and y are independent 
So let us uh, find out all the partial derivatives one by one so that can help us to calculate the further required terms. I will first find out what is f. Here, here I am going to call it my f of x, y, z. This is f of x, y, z equals to 0 kind of. So first I will call f of x. What is f of x? Here a sine of x, y means sine of constant. Y is constant, constant times x. Just like a sine a, x. Derivative of sine a, x is a cos a, x. So here a means y. y cos of x, y. Plus now there is no x so it will be 0. This is constant. And then we have a x, z. So x is variable, z is constant. So when we differentiate I get cos of x, z into constant. Constant is. Similarly we can find out f of y which is equals to x cos x, y plus z cos y, z where z is a constant and f of z equals to here the first term no z so 0, second term y is constant so cos of y z plus x cos of z x. Now let's find out what is uh, these terms one by one. So here first I want to find out what is del z by del x when y is constant that is equals to minus partial differentiation of x divided by partial differentiation of z. And that is equals to, so which is equals to minus y cos of x y plus z times cos of x z, this is x divided by f z. So f z is y cos of y z and uh, plus x cos of x z. Now the next term is we want to find out what is del z by del y when x is constant the formula is minus f of y upon f of z and that is equals to minus times x cos x y plus z cos y z divided by y cos y z plus x cos x z so uh, this way you can calculate. You can recall, commit to memory whenever you see del z by del x, y constant. Just remember when x is in the denominator, we are taking partial derivative f of x in the numerator. And z is in the numerator, it is goes down. And similarly, so this way you can remember. This is that if it is with respect to y, so f of y on the top and with respect to z on the bottom. This way you can remember the formulas. I think you have understood. Thank you.